So this is example four. And for this example, we're given the following data for moist soil. So we have porosity, specific gravity, and moisture content. So this is a moist soil. So we know the soil is moist, and we want to calculate how much water is needed to bring it to full saturation. And for this example, there are a couple of different approaches you can take. The first approach, if you look at all these quantities given, they're all in terms of ratios. So the first approach is you can assume the total volume is one. And then solve for the mass you need to add to bring this one cubic meter of soil to full saturation. So that's the mass you need to add, mass of water you need to add to bring this one cubic meter of soil to full saturation. And then you calculate what's needed for 10 cubic meter of soil by multiplying that number by 10. So that's for 10. So that's the first approach. And then there's another approach. For the second approach, you can directly use this total volume of 10 cubic meter and then solve for or find that mass of water needed for V equals to 10. So there are two different approaches and I'm going to use the second approach. So I'm going to use this V equals to 10 to directly find the mass of water needed. And for this problem, again, the first step, phase diagram. And this is a moist soil to begin with. So we have three phases, solid, water, and air. And since we're looking for mass of water to be added, instead of putting weight on one side, I'm going to put mass on one side. And the unit is kg, kilogram. And on the other side is volume which is cubic meter. And for this example, since we're directly using that V of 10 cubic meters, so we know the total volume. So this is something we know, 10. So that's a total volume. And then we need to solve for these different mass and different volume. So the total volume is 10. The first known I'm going to use is this porosity. So we know the porosity of the soil 0.4 in the definition of porosity, volume of void over total volume. And from this definition, we can solve for the volume of voids. So it's N times total V, which is 0.4 times 10, so that's four cubic meter. So we know the total volume of voids is four. And this means that the volume of the solids, we call Vs, is total volume minus volume of the voids. And this is 10 minus four, that's six cubic meter. So we know the volume of solids is six in this case. So that's the volume side. And then the next known quantity I'm going to use is that specific gravity. So now we know the volume of the solids. I'm going to solve for mass of solids first. So we know Gs, so that's given, 2.68. In definition of specific gravity, unit weight of solids over unit weight of water, gamma s over gamma w, and since we are dealing with mass instead of weight, I'm going to use density instead of unit weight. So density is unit weight divided by gravitational acceleration, which is a constant. So this ratio holds for density as well. And the density of solids by definition is mass of solids over volume of solids times density of water. And then from this, you can solve for mass of solids.
in GS 2.68, that's given. Volume of solids, six, which are updated. And then density of water, as I mentioned at the beginning, this is a constant again, 1,000 kilogram per meter cube. And this is 16,080 kilogram. So that's mass of solids, 16,080. Once we have the mass of solids, And moisture content 12%, which is mass of solids, a mass of water over mass of solids. And from this definition, we can solve for mass of water. And again, this is the same as weight of water over weight of solids. And mass and weight, they differ by a gravitational acceleration. Again, the same ratio holds. So this mass of water is moisture content or water content times mass of solids. So that's 0.12, that's 12% times 16,080. So that's mass of water, 1928.6. Or 29.6. Okay, so we have basically the mass side taken care of, and then the, the volume side, the next unknown we want to solve for is this volume water. Again, that technique I mentioned, for water, if you know one side, you can use the density or the unit weight to solve for the other side. In, in this case, since it's mass, we're going to use density of water which is mass of water over volume of water. And we can solve for the volume of water. So V water. And this density of water is at 1000 kilogram per meter cube. And if you substitute a mass of water and density of water, this is just 1.9296 meter cube. And finally, the volume of air is four minus volume of water, and this is 2.0704. So volume of air. So 2.0704 meter cube. Okay, so that's a complete phase diagram. We have mass and the volume. So once we have this phase diagram completed, uh, what we're looking for is the mass of water to be added to bring this soil to full saturation. So to bring soil to full saturation. And by definition, full saturation means all the voids are occupied by water. And currently we have this much volume occupied by air. So we need to add this much water to occupy this space to bring soil to fully saturation. So we need to bring uh, this volume of water. We need to convert this volume air to volume water by adding water. So this volume water to be added is the volume of air and which is 2.0704. So we need to add this much volume of water and then the corresponding mass is let's say this delta VW times density of water.
and that's 2070.4 kg. So that's how much water you need to add to bring soil to full saturation. Again, just to fill this airspace with water. So that's a mass of water needed. 